We've covered electric axle systems for commercial vehicles quite a bit, and today we're diving into the electrification of heavy-duty vehicles like semi-trucks, tractors, and trailers. We'll be discussing their electric powertrain systems, comparing different solutions, and breaking down the pros and cons of each option. First, let's take a look at the different types of e-powertrain systems, which can be categorized into three main configurations based on motor layout, central direct drive, electric drive axles, and distributed drive systems. We are going to introduce these systems later. And regardless of the type, there are a few key trends shaping the development of e-powertrain systems for commercial vehicles. One of the most significant is the growing integration of electric drive systems. Motors, gearboxes, controllers, and other key components are being combined into a compact unit, which reduces weight and space while enhancing efficiency and reliability. Let's use our 360 kilowatts drive assembly as an example. As you can see in the image, the motor and gearbox are integrated into one single unit which optimizes the layout for heavy trucks and saves valuable space. Another great example is our 360 kW electric axle for heavy commercial vehicles, where the drive system, transmission, braking, and other systems are all integrated into one compact assembly. The second trend is the growing adoption of dual motor drive systems, especially for high-end or specialized trucks. This setup offers better power distribution and improved energy efficiency. For example, our dual motor drive assembly integrates two motors, delivering continuous power during hill climbs and providing stronger electric drive capability, better heavy load performance, and greater operational efficiency. Similarly, our 360 kW electric axle features two motors for higher power output and flexible operating strategies, allowing both motors to work together for maximum power when needed. This is the configuration for the central direct drive system, a solution primarily suited for converting fuel-powered trucks into electric vehicles. In this setup, the original truck chassis remains largely unchanged, with the engine being replaced by an electric motor, along with an EDU, battery packs, and other systems, effectively creating an electric heavy trucks. The motor generates high speeds and low torque. It transfers power to the reducer. The reducer lowers the speed while increasing the torque, sending power through the drive shaft to the rear axle. The rear axle, with its high gear ratio, further amplifies the torque and delivers it to the wheels, propelling the truck forward. Battery packs are typically placed on both sides of the chassis or behind the cabin. This solution is adaptable to almost all types of commercial vehicles. So what are the advantages of this approach for heavy truck manufacturers? The biggest benefit is that it's the most cost-effective and quickest route to electrification. Developing a brand new platform for electric trucks requires significant financial and human resources, as well as extensive testing to ensure reliability. This is a complex process, and if the new model fails to meet expectations, companies risk major financial losses. As a result, Many manufacturers are hesitant to take that gamble. For fuel-to-electric conversions, this solution can save money and enable companies to enter the market quickly. However, there are notable drawbacks to this approach. The first is limited space for battery packs. Since the vehicle's structure isn't significantly altered, space for battery placement is restricted, limiting driving range, application scenarios, and the layout of battery cooling systems. The second issue is poor handling and comfort. Unlike purpose-built electric trucks, converted models were not originally designed or optimized for battery placement and weight distribution. This imbalance requires the suspension system to be reinforced to handle the added weight, disrupting the vehicle's original chassis dynamics. As a result, braking distances increase, and overall comfort is significantly reduced. Currently, most heavy trucks using the direct drive system are deployed in short-distance transport scenarios, such as ports, steel mills, power plants, and mines. They are less suitable for medium or long-distance transportation. Now let's move on to the electric drive axle, specifically the parallel axis type. As the same suggests, the motor is positioned parallel to the axle, which is currently the most common configuration for electric axles in the market. In this system, the motor, drive axle, and AMT are integrated into a single unit. This design eliminates the need for a drive shaft, reducing system weight and enhancing transmission efficiency. In these e-axles, the transmission system exclusively uses helical gears, improving reverse braking capability from the typical 30% to 100%. Additionally, removing components like the universal drive shaft, reducer, fixed suspension, and suspension brackets significantly lowers installation costs compared to traditional central direct systems. This configuration also saves weight and space, providing more room for battery placement, which in turn increases driving range. However, the downside is that the large and offset unsprung weight can negatively affect the vehicle's handling. The second type of electric drive axle is the coaxial e-axle, where the motor is aligned coaxially with the axle housing. This creates a more compact structure and results in a highly concentrated power system, optimizing the overall chassis layout. 
Coaxial e-axles are typically used in light vans and trucks under 4.5 tons, but they are not suitable for heavy-duty vehicles. The third type of e-axle is the vertical axis electric drive axle, where the drive motor is connected to the drive axle at a perpendicular angle. This solution offers some key advantages, such as low installation costs and minimal use of longitudinal space, making it easier to arrange battery packs. However, there are also notable drawbacks, including lower transmission efficiency compared to parallel axis drive axles, reduced system power density, and the use of a hypoid gear for speed reduction, which leads to a smaller speed ratio and poorer NVH, noise, vibration, harshness, performance. This configuration is typically used in medium and heavy-duty commercial vehicles. Another drive type is the distributed drive, which can be divided into wheel hub drive and wheel end drive. The wheel end drive type has been first implemented in buses and heavy trucks. In this system, two drive motors are mounted on both sides of the axle, using side reducers and wheel side reducers to reduce speed and increase torque, driving the wheels. While the distributed structure is challenging to control, it offers fast response times, which is advantageous for intelligent driving systems. Despite its benefits, the wheel end drive system also presents significant technical challenges. The main issue lies in motor control, determining which motor should operate and under what driving conditions, a problem that requires extensive research. Since the distributed drive eliminates the traditional differential, an electronic differential controller is required to manage the turn. The precision of the wheel end drive system is very high, capable of controlling torque and force down to fine levels, but the more precise the control, the more complex it becomes. Additionally, the high unsprung weight of the wheel end motors negatively affects ride comfort, which is why only a few bus manufacturers have adopted this technology so far. Wheel hub drive technology is not a recent innovation. As early as 1900, electric vehicles equipped with wheel hub motors in the front wheels were already being built, and by the 1970s, this technology was applied in areas like mining transport vehicles. Wheel hub drive eliminates a large number of transmission components, simplifying the vehicle structure. In addition to this simplicity, Vehicles driven by wheel hub motors benefit from better space utilization and significantly higher transmission efficiency. They also allow for more complex driving configurations. Since each wheel is independently powered by its own motor, it's easy to implement front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive systems. Full time all wheel drive is particularly simple to achieve with hub motors. Given the rise of electric propulsion in new energy vehicles, wheel hub motors have become increasingly relevant. They can serve as the primary power source in fully electric, fuel cell, or range extended electric vehicles. Even in hybrid vehicles, hub motors can assist during startup or rapid acceleration. However, wheel hub motors have some drawbacks. They significantly increase the unsprung mass of the vehicle and add to the rotational inertia of the wheels, which negatively impacts handling. Additionally, electric braking is typically preferred in EVs, but the braking capacity of wheel hub motor systems is limited and cannot fully meet the braking performance requirements of the entire vehicle necessitating the addition of mechanical braking systems. Moreover, wheel hub motors operate in harsh environments, exposed to water, dust, and other elements, making sealing a critical challenge. Effective cooling must also be specifically designed for hub motors due to their unique heat dissipation needs. Above, we've summarized the main types of e-powertrain systems currently in use, along with their respective advantages and disadvantages. Compared to central drive systems, e-axles offer several key advantages, Eliminating the drive shaft shortens the drivetrain and improves system efficiency. Reducing the overall vehicle weight, batteries can be installed inside the frame, enhancing safety and providing more space for battery placement. Saving valuable loading space for the truck, let's quickly compare the two setups. For a battery electric truck using a central direct drive system, with a motor and multi-speed gearbox, the powertrain weighs around 5,230 kilograms. In contrast, the powertrain of a truck equipped with two e-axles, each with two motors, weighs approximately 4,920 kilograms with the same battery capacity. By eliminating the drive shaft, the e-axle system reduces the overall weight by about 310 kilograms. Currently, central drive systems and e-axles are the primary forms of propulsion for fully electric trucks, and both solutions will continue to coexist for the foreseeable future. The market share of electric axles is steadily increasing and has already become widely adopted in light trucks under 4.5 tons. For standard highway applications, E-axles with higher integration and greater efficiency represent the future, especially for large-capacity trucks, as they help save loading space. For heavy-duty applications in off-road environments, the central drive paired with a traditional drive axle will remain a complementary solution. At Brogan, we provide a range of e-drive systems tailored to meet the diverse needs of our clients' vehicles. Our offerings include central direct drive assemblies, integrated electric axles, and distributed electric axle solutions, 
with power outputs ranging from 144 kilowatts to 800 kilowatts. These solutions are designed for heavy-duty vehicles, from 12 tons up to over 120 tons. Here are two of our key technologies that I believe are worth highlighting. The first is our uninterrupted power system. This system uses a dual winding motor paired with a dual input gearbox, allowing both motors to operate simultaneously. Even during gear shifts, there's no interruption in power. The dual gear system works in tandem with decoupled power sources, providing high torque output and improved efficiency. Power is distributed optimally based on demand, which significantly enhances operational efficiency. Key advantages include Hill climbing speed is about 20% higher compared to traditional manual transmission vehicles of the same horsepower. Maximum torque output exceeds similar products by more than 20%. Energy savings on downhill slopes exceed 40% when fully loaded and 10 to 20% when empty. The other technology is our distributed drive electric axle for heavy duty vehicles. This system features a dual motor distributed drive design, with completely independent power systems for the left and right sides. Each power unit consists of a motor, a two speed AMT, and a wheel reducer. The system incorporates electronic differential technology, allowing for independent control of the left and right drive systems, providing enhanced performance and precise power distribution. As we've mentioned in previous videos, this system offers several key benefits, including 100% torque recovery with the herbs, a 10 to 15% reduction in energy consumption compared to direct drive systems, and a 10% increase in cargo capacity over traditional models, among other advantages. Even among the various electric axle solutions we've discussed, the distributed electric axle stands out with significant advantages in torque, weight, regenerative braking capability, and torque vector control. With the rise of hydrogen fuel cell systems, which require even more chassis space than pure electric trucks, this axle design is undoubtedly poised to become the mainstream choice, offering tremendous market potential in the future. So this is the end of this video, and if you are currently looking for EV systems for your project, you can contact us through the contact info here. Due to high demand, we are currently only accepting business projects and cannot accommodate personal projects. To assist you better, please include your business information in your inquiry to help us understand your requirements. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we are going to upload more videos on electric vehicle systems in the future. See you next time.